Hello everyone, and if there's a shadow in this video, I apologize. Um, the weather is not cooperating with me today, and it never does when it's time for me to film. But nevertheless, I think you can get a general idea because I have been asked a lot since I have made mention to several of my friends that you can only make pumpkin puree from this kind of a pumpkin. And this kind of a pumpkin is referred to as a sugar pumpkin. And it is so pretty. And they're usually not very expensive in your local grocery store. So if you cannot find um, your typical canned pumpkin puree, you can make it and it is super, super easy. This is about the fourth or fifth time that I've ever made homemade. Um, I have done this before. But I was very fortunate enough to go out of town to visit my parents, and we went to the local um, pumpkin farm. Well, I wouldn't say it was local, but it was close. It's in Shinston, West Virginia, and it is uh, the Saltwell Pumpkin Farm. And they have your pick your own. They have hay rides. They have all kinds of stuff. So if you're in that area, I highly suggest that you check them out because they have not only uh, these kind of pumpkins, but they have the kind to decorate your porch and just a lot of beautiful gourds and things to choose from. Okay, I got it cut. It's not perfect in what it looks like, but it smells phenomenal. Um, you can scoop these seeds out and you can uh, roast those if you like. I'm just going to discard them. You want to take out all the insides of this and get rid of it. cleaned out now what I do is is I just cut the pumpkin in half clean it all out place it facing down on a piece of parchment paper I'm going to put it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 35 minutes until I can take a sharp knife and it'll just cut right through here if it is done just enough your skin should just peel right off and you will have the pumpkin so uh, be careful, don't get burned, let it cool, but you can check it with a knife, and I'll be back to check it. I'm going to throw this into the oven while I do some housework, and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make pumpkin puree. The biggest job is cleaning it out, and it is kind of ooey and gooey and um, everything, but get your kids in the kitchen and get everybody involved. It can be a lot of fun um, to find out how pumpkin puree is made. And you guys will have the accomplishment of making it yourself. My pumpkins just came out of the oven. They were in there in 400, at 400 degrees for 35 minutes. And you don't even really have to have a knife to know that these are done. You can see when you press down on it and it goes in. And this here will just literally peel off. Uh, when it cools down. So honestly, the easiest thing ever. A lot of people process their pumpkin in a food processor. I do not. I just whip mine with my whisk attachment on my kitchen aid until it's nice and creamy. And then I put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to make pie. And I'm going to make a pie uh, probably Thursday or Friday because I'm going to have company and so I will be filming that day and you will see my pies um, made with this pumpkin puree that I'm making as soon as this cools down can you guys see the steam coming off there I will peel this off and I will show you what I do with how I make this so simple so so simple guys who knew You are looking down inside of my 
KitchenAid bowl. <laughs> Took me a minute. Um, I'm making sure this isn't too hot to hold. Can you see how that peel, right there's my peel, it just peeled right off of the pumpkin. And that's how simple it is. Now I'm gonna put my pumpkin, um, I need to get a spatula, I think it might be the easiest way to scoop that up and put it into the kitchen aid. Um, I'm gonna, cause it's real tender at this point. So I'm gonna make sure that all the peels off and then I'm going to scoop that right in there. And I'm being very careful to make sure that I got all the peel off, just like that. Okay, you get it all in there, every bit, and it smells so good like my house right now smells literally like fall time which is what we want right is what we want so now all i do and i don't need a kitchen aid to do this i mean not a kitchen aid but a food processor i just put my whisk attachment on to my kitchen aid and i lock it and I just put this on low until it is nice and broke up. Then I'm gonna place this into a sealed container, put it into my refrigerator so that when I am ready to make pumpkin pie, I have pumpkin puree. That's how simple it is. My pumpkin puree came out perfect, as you can see here. It is honestly like the consistency of baby food, and it reminds me a lot of baby food. And all I'm going to do is put this into a airtight container. And put it in the refrigerator, and it will be ready for when I am ready to make pie, which will be here in the next couple days. I might even make a pumpkin cake. I don't even know. We will see. But all oh, this smells so, so good. So I encourage you, go out and buy a sugar pumpkin or what they call a pie pumpkin and make some homemade pumpkin puree with your family and your kids will love you. Um, I love pumpkin. So this is going to be a real treat for me. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and look forward to seeing in a future vlog of me making some pumpkin pies using my pumpkin puree. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.